only chasing the bigger flathead and we're actually getting a few. We're having a really good time at the moment, seeing some nice fish, 60s, a 70, we've got a 95. But what's important is when you catch a big flathead and you're going to release it, obviously Victoria over 55, it's illegal to keep it. In other states you can keep one. But people do recommend let them go. They're the big girls, they're the breeders. But if you are going to keep a big flathead for photos, which everyone's allowed to take some nice photos, that fish of a lifetime, you want some nice happy snaps, look after the flathead. A few people have um, actually PM'd us at Reel It In and sort of said, oh, can you maybe perhaps say some words about releasing big flathead because people are finding big flathead dead in the shallows and it's floating. So people are taking their photos, but they're not looking after the fish. There's no point putting it back if she doesn't swim away and be healthy. Um, my brother's just come back from Marimbula recently and outside the cafe in the water there, there's an 85 centimetre fish just lying there dead. And the locals are saying, you know, why aren't people looking after these fish? We've got a brilliant flathead fishery this time of year, big flathead on the chew. So what are some ways we can look after a flathead? Well, if you're lucky enough like I am to have a live well, we can see here, here in, 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 in the live well, this fish has been constantly this is a 72 centimetre flathead. We've had it in the live well for about the last 15 minutes, just so we've caught the fish, um, we've, put her, we've put her in here, and now we've come back here to the bank to, to, to release it and take our photos. As we said, there's nothing wrong with doing that. If you don't have a live well, what else ca can you do? Well, put it in, in the net, take a photo, put the fish back in the net, swim it in the water, let that water get back through its gills. Try and look after these fish and release them, because if you love targeting big flathead like we do it, reel it in, you want to be able to see a fishery sustain it and have good fish. So we're going to just put this fish now back in the water and we'll show you, you know, just look after them. That is what we're talking about. Like, we've just taken a couple of photos of this fish. It's been out of the live well for about a minute or so. Just put it back, put it back in the water. Give her a chance to get some water in its gills. If you want to take any more photos otherwise, let it go, release it. So we've had this in the live well, she's going to be pretty, pretty, pretty healthy. She'll kick a lot. But it's just so important, if we, we want to sustain the fishery we have and enjoy these sort of fish, we just recommend that everyone just like, look after them. They're beautiful looking fish, absolutely beautiful fish. You know, just also, if you're going to, if you're releasing one on the side of the boat, because you're in deeper water, hold them in the water. Keep holding them there until they get water back and they're ready to go. You know, in the shallows they're right, but if you're fishing in the deeper water, just make sure they swim off like that. That's gone straight back into the weed edge. Happy days. Someone else will get that opportunity to catch that fish again. That's 72. You know, that, that, that fish can grow to be an 80 and 90 and be a really good trophy fish. So let's look after the, the fishery that we do have, which is the big flathead fishery here in Victoria, New South Wales, Queensland. To another nice flathead out here. It's been really slow, slow evening for us. Wind dying off, and we thought tonight we should see a nice fish. And... Oh, nice frog. Yeah, very nice fish. Oh. Nice and easy. So I've just netted this fish for Troy and we're just letting it sit in the water for a bit. I want to bring it on the boat real green. She came in not too bad, but we want to um, just let them sit there for a minute or so, just let them relax, keep them nice and healthy, and we'll bring her on the boat. We find if we do this, when they do come on, they'll, they'll, be, they'll kick around a lot less. We've got a couple quick photos and we can put a back. Beautiful looking fish. Definitely in the 70 centimetre mark there. All right, so she's, she's pretty good now. Nice and calm. And we'll just bring her up. We'll get a couple quick photos. You can see how much life she's still got, so just Letting us sit. 
and we'll bring her in now. Well, the sun's still out. It's, it's, it's obviously getting a bit later, but one thing you never want to do is put your, your fish on a warm drag mat, so we always want to wet it down. And we'll, that way, it's not going to hurt the fish when, when we put it on it. We want to get a quick measurement. Just grab a glove. So we just want to get a quick measurement there on the wet brag mat. And you'll see here, this fish is just, just pipping the 70 centimetres. So a really nice healthy fish. This is a, a perfect breeding fish too. So um, obviously in Victoria we're going to let it go and we would let it go anywhere. But um, this is like in its prime of its breeding. So we want to get this one back as quick as we can. Um, we're going to do that now. When we, when we, as soon as we uh, got this fish in, we spot locked on the electric motor. So we've anchored the boat because we want to release this breeding female back to the same spot that we caught it. You don't want to put it in the live well and take off somewhere else. You've seen a couple of the ones we've released on the banks. Those ones have been caught in real shallow water on the banks. And um, it's really important that we release them where, where we catch them. I can feel this girl is ready to go. She's really, really lively. It's gonna swim off no problems at all. And that's what we wanna do. A little kick of the tail and off she goes, back down to where she was caught. And that's what we wanna do, try and release them where they've been caught. Came out here with young Sammy, we got up at 5.30, she was blowing a gale. We went into a little cove and well, as you can see on the deck, a nice, beautiful, healthy, 95 centimetre, beautiful big girl. And when you catch one of these, the adrenaline's unbelievable, but the best part is putting it back in the water and letting someone else enjoy catching such a beautiful beast. Ready? We've had a we've had a sitting in the live well for about 20 minutes so it's so important to look after these fish. By all means take your photos, enjoy the fish but keep it in a live well, keep it in the net, put it in the water. Constantly be putting them in water. The crocodile is off. Thank you, my baby. Well, we've got up early again this morning. Good start with the 68. Nice start to the morning. Another quality fish. As we sort of spoke about the other day, um, we don't have a net. We've had a few photos. I'm not going to let this fish go until it, it actually wants to kick away and go. Look after it. Nurse it. Takes a few minutes, so be it. Let them swim away like that, nice and healthy. T take it nice and easy, bro. Let it run. Right, let him run. One big fish. Okay. Come on. Oh, Come on. Give us... Wait. That's one big fish. Oh my god. to the bank here. Gonna take a few happy snaps with this beauty and then we're gonna come back and show you. Troy's gonna show you how we can properly release these beauties so that they stay alive and continue on in this beautiful estuary. What you want to do is you want to make sure that we put it back into the net and just let it swim around a little bit just so I can get a bit of water because we want to look after these precious creatures. So just let it in the net and then let it swim around a little bit and then we'll release it again. So we've got it up again out of the water. 
when you're holding it and taking your photos it's so important use gloves not the grips so that we don't damage the mouth and you want to make sure that you support the belly because it is a big heavy fish so you want to give it as much support as possible so we're just supporting it again gentle on the mouth hold the belly we're going to put her in the water and we're just going to support her again just till she gets comfortable enough to swim off on her own you'll feel that she bites down on your thumb we'll take out the thumb and off she goes safely released you beauty!